wonder boy thompson has yet to realize a ufc championship truly a special striker most welterweights believe dc this is as hard a guy to prepare for as anybody in the division of course it is because stephen wonder boy thompson is that traditional karate stance he's standing far back one leg way out in front and he's just a great counter striker if you get overzealous against stephen thompson you are going to sleep you cannot just rush him you have to take your time. So a lot of his fights look very similar because guys don't know how to approach the counter-striking style of Wonder Boy. Wild success as an amateur and professional kickboxer. Truly put Simpsonville, South Carolina on the UFC map. His father, Ray, there firmly in his corner. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson looking to make one more run here to the UFC welterweight title contention. Resumes the sport has ever seen. The former champion Tyron Woodley held the belt for several years, and now the focus is on getting back to the top of the heap. And he's one of those guys that has that ability to go and do that because one performance can be so impressive yeah. that everybody starts screaming, Give this guy a title shot. The way that he flatlined Josh Koscheck, the way that he knocked out Jay Heron, but then he went and submitted there until you see Tyron Woodley, even as a champion, continuing to evolve and it will only take one big night for him to get right back where he wants to be. He has dealt with a lot of interesting stylistic challenges at the two-fight series with Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, one of the tougher matchups for him in this division. Whippy is back here tonight and looking to put on a show on the greatest proving ground in the sport. the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Stephen Wonder Boy Thompson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Good. All right, here we go, round one. Blunder Boy versus T. Wood. Woodley has said in the past, this is as hard a guy as he's ever had to prepare for, and he's had to spend a lot of time in training camp preparing for this guy. Yes, and going back to the footage will help him, but for a guy that he's fought twice to still not completely understand him, tells you how difficult Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is to fight. Well, it looks like Woodley's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a... Oh, oh, Back to his feet. Thompson shot is blocked. Good right hand. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. to block that punch, champ. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Woodley gets lit up by that straight punch. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 
Oh, my goodness. Oh, again. Back to the feet now. Oh, big leg. That one appeared to stun him. That leg can hurt. DC, his hands look good, a lot of volume, a lot of action. Oh! Takedown defense is there. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. All right, so a huge win for Stephen Wonderboy Thompson here tonight. Still one of the better pure strikers on this roster, top to bottom, and showed you exactly why tonight. I mean, great traditional mixed martial artist, but he's developed all the skill he needed to get to the top of the division and challenge for a UFC title on multiple occasions.